again everybody welcome back my name is crystal from heart musings with crystal and today i have something super exciting so a couple weeks ago i placed an order with sojourner i wanted a new notebook cover for my five year this is what i currently have it in it's in a chic sparrow pemberley castle rock it fits, it slid in the back pocket there, but I wanted something a little more, I guess, sturdy. So I ordered an A6 five-year trifolio, and I also ordered a new A5 cover. Um, I was trying out the Chic Sparrow Giovanni. I know I said I wasn't gonna buy any more Chic Sparrows, but this one I did get secondhand just to try out, test out the leather and uh, the infamous removable pen loop, which, yeah, don't like that at all. Anyway, so I ordered a new A5 to replace this and see how, I'm gonna see how that goes because I've never owned a trifolio from Sojourner before. So I wanted to, you know, test out the sturdiness or I guess like just the, the layout of the notebook. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll start with the five year. Both of these I did get with the uh, Roadrunner leather. Yes. So I um, requested for the A6 to have the Getty leather for the interior and the pocket. Ah, oh, that is very, very nice. Um, so for the Roadrunner, I chose this leather because it's a little bit on the sturdier side. It's their sturdier leather, but it also has pull-up, which means that you can, you know, anywhere that you bend the notebook, you're going to get some striations and some character. So yeah, I wanted to test that out and I am, this is really beautiful. Oh God, that smells so good. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see how my five year fits. Side. The other notebook I also, like I said, I did get the Roadrunner leather. It's the, I got the, um, travel traveler trifold so it's gonna have elastics in the center I'll talk a little bit more about that when i'm not struggling with this huh. i think it's just me hold on wait a minute Yeah, it was just me. All right, so, um, hmm. I haven't shown my five year on camera. This is more of a writing journal, so I don't really decorate a whole lot in it. Why am I struggling so much with this? Okay, let's try this side first. Hmm. Sorry, I'm like struggle bus here. Um, okay, so yeah, my five year Hobonichi Techo is just writing. I use a couple stickers. I don't really like draw or anything in this one because I don't wanna, huh. I don't want it to bulk up too much too fast because this is the first year that I'm using it. I'm wondering if it's just a little stiff because I went with a stiffer leather possibly. Should I have 
Ah. Why am I struggling? is this why okay I don't <sighs> this has to be user error it just has to be I have a couple of folios from Sojourner and I don't have <sighs> this problem with them okay is it in there maybe I need to train the cover that would make sense I guess huh Okay, anyway, so that is the <laughs> Hobonichi A5 cover in Roadrunner with the Getty Pocket. I can seem to have already scuffed this up a little bit, but yeah, it's fine. So, hmm, I think I just need to train it. Initial thoughts on the cover for the A6 five year. I do like how sturdy the leather is. It smells amazing. I'm excited to see how this is gonna wear. I just, I think I do need to train the leather a little bit because the Roadrunner leather is their more sturdier road, uh, the more sturdier leather. So those typically, sturdy leathers do need to be trained. So I think that's kind of what I have to do here. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I do have like a pen loop thing that I will add to kind of have my fountain pen there. And then I do like the security that the trifold has for that. But anywho, let's close this baby up and give it time to acclimate in there. <laughs> All right, so that is my five year. Okay, moving on to the A5. The A5 is also the Roadrunner, but I asked for the special brown pocket. Yes. Okay, so I asked for this, the darker special brown leather that is gorgeous okay yeah the special brown leather is really really soft and thin and this one has a lot of variation at the top you can see how it's like darker than the rest i really really love the character yes okay so that is beautiful. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so um, I did get a traveler tri tri traveler folio. No, traveler tri trap. I'm not sure how you say it, but or the exact name of this one. But it is the one that has elastics, and then it has this pocket here and a secretarial pocket. Normally, this pocket is the other way so that the stitching is actually along this side but i requested that it the pocket be flipped so that i'm able to slide my hobonichi in the back so this is one of my hobonichis i talked about it in my other video but i cut up my hobonichi cousin into three separate inserts so this is from january to june i'm almost done with it but I did that because it was just getting too chunky. Way, way too chunky. All right. So I know I'm gonna struggle with this and it's not the, the notebook's fault. It's just that when I chose the piece of cardstock for this insert, when I remade it and tore it apart, I messed up and chose a piece that was way too thin. So like my back cover here is like super flimsy. <sighs> So it is a struggle to get in and out of notebooks, but it's not, I mean, it's out of covers. It's not the covers fault, it's the actual insert. All right, 
Okay. Oh, that is freaking beautiful. All right, so the reason I wanted this instead of a traditional folio was because I am really enjoying this plastic zip pouch thing that I got off of Amazon several, several years ago. I don't have the link to it anymore, I'm sorry, but it is a perfect A5 size. So I wanted to be able to still use that. And then for my weeks, are my weekly pages and my monthly pages in my Hobonichi Cousin. I cut it into one insert. But the same issue kind of happened with this. It just was a little bit too um, flimsy. So I don't feel comfortable putting this notebook itself on the elastic. So I got this really cheap plastic cover from the local grocery store and I just put that through the elastic instead of the spine. Voila! Okay. Hopefully that... Oh, that is so chunky. Oof. Yeah, but look at how, that's amazing. Like that, that trifold cover. <sighs> okay, that's enormous. Um, let's move some of my stuff. And Oh no, my little cat guy doesn't fit. All right, let's have you peeking outside. And oh, I did have, where is it? I've switched my covers so many times in the past couple weeks that like all of my decor that I normally put is just like scattered all over my craft room. Uh, where? Where did I put you? A few moments later. All right, so I took a little bit to go search my stash of things to figure out what I wanted to use to decorate the front. And this is what I ended up with. So I have a charm from Wind Summer Art on Etsy. It's a very popular store. I'm sure you've heard of it by now. A lot of other YouTubers really like these wooden bead charms. This one is not the typical wooden bead one. I think it's listed as a different type of bead because the holes actually go through the front instead of along the sides. So there's that. So I really love this color combination of the blue and the green, not the green, the yellow. So I put that bead there and then I used, these are printables from Courtney Diaz. I just enlarged them and then cut the, printed them on like flimsy cardstock and then laminated. And these are from her older sheets. But I really love how it turned out. So overall, I think that these notebooks were a really good investment. The leather is very sturdy. It's very luxurious feeling. Like it doesn't feel like a flimsy, cheap leather. It's very good quality. And the craftsmanship is just uh, amazing. Like I said, I do have a couple other folios from Rowena and I've just, I've never had an issue Customer service was amazing with this. I emailed someone named Alyssa, I think, like back and forth like a good 15 times um, before I decided on the leather and just like the layout, the design pockets on the inside. And yeah, they were very fast, very quick to respond. Customer service is a really big thing for me when it comes to purchasing from um, small shops or 
not small shops, but like when purchasing from something in general. Uh, so yeah, customer service was amazing. The leather quality, the craftsmanship, like I cannot complain. Like this is just, yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these babies scuff and age and just like develop because that's what I've been wanting in a notebook. I've been wanting to see something that's going to grow with me, I guess. But anywho, I will leave you all with that today. I hope you enjoyed this really quick setup video from me. Uh, if you own a Sojourner or if you have any videos of yours, like feel free to link all that down below. Like I love looking at other people's setups and stuff, but yeah, so I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, and uh, y'all have a good one. Bye!